Last time we talked about probability questions dealing with coins. But what about dice? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Like I said in the intro, kanina na pag-usapan na natin yung probability ng coins. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll just link it right here so you can catch up. Ngayon, dice naman ang pag-uusapan natin. Okay? And before I jump into the lesson, really quickly, if you want to reach out to me directly, request videos na gusto nyo pag-uusapan natin next time, get the reviewers that I made, or join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Part 2 ng ating series on probability. Napag-usapan na natin dati yung coins. Again, if you haven't seen that yet, i-link ko na lang dito sa taas i button natin. Um, yun yung inuna ko kasi yun yung pinaka-basic. And hopefully, pag napalood nyo na yun, madali na sa inyo mag-transition into this. Kasi I'm going to add one more situation na mas komplikado dun sa mga problems na pinag-usapan natin dun sa coins. Okay? So, quick refresher lang. Ang probability is the likelihood of something to happen. So, kung meron kang gustong mangyari, ano yung likelihood na mangyari yung gusto mo? Oh, okay? And ang formula niya is yung, yung desired outcome, again, yung gusto mo mangyari, over kung ilan yung total number of possible outcomes. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, kung gusto mo ng heads sa uh, coins, meron kang dalawang pagpipilian. Isa lang doon ang nag-fit sa iyong standard. So, that would be 1 over yung total which is 2 or 1 half. Now, this time, we're going to talk about dice. Okay? Now, just a quick little refresher din. Pag uh, nag-usapang dice, ang bawat isang die, okay, and yeah, yun yung singular niya na traditional, die. Although ngayon, tanggap na rin kung gagamitin mo yung dice for uh, singular. Okay, so again, pwede siyang tawagin die or dice kapag isa lang. Kapag marami na, so if it's more than one, it's going to be dice. Okay, meron siyang six sides. Okay, kaya di ba pag nag-roll nag ka ng dice, pwede ang, uh, ang lumabas sa either one, two, three, four, five, or six. Tapos meron siya yung tinatawag nating pips. Ang pips is yung mga butas sa die. Okay, so wala lang, just, uh, just so you know. Kasi mamaya, yung tanong, ang tanong would be, what is the likelihood of uh, getting two pips in a six-sided die? At least alam nyo na ang pips, ang ibig sabihin lang nun is yung bilog, yung markings na yan. Now, let's take this basic question. Sabi, what is the probability of getting five in a six-sided die? So again, knowing na ang ating formula for probability is yung desired outcome over total number of possible outcomes, ang magiging sagot natin would be, 1 over 6. Now, bakit 1? Kasi isa lang ang pwedeng maging desired outcome mo. Kasi sa 6 sides ng die na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, isa lang naman ang 5. So, dahil siya lang ang pasok sa standards, 1 ang number sa taas. At dahil anim ang pwedeng maging kinahihinatnan kapag nag-roll ka ng die, yun ang number sa ilalim. So, the answer is 1 over 6. Now, sometimes sa inyong exam, they will ask you to convert this into a decimal. Okay? When you're asked to do that, ang gagawin mo lang is 1 divided by 6. Again, I already made a video on converting decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. Kung hindi nyo pa yun napapanood, it's very important for you to refresh yourself sa lesson na yun, sa ganitong klaseng tanong. Kasi minsan, ang nasa options ay hindi fraction. At kung hindi fraction ang nasa options, you may need to actually manually divide it para malaman mo kung anong percentage siya. Okay? Now, uh, sa case na ito, ang 1 over 6 in decimal form is going to give you 0 0.16 or 0 0.16 tapos ano yan eh, actually repetitive number yan. So, kung gagawin mo siyang percent, that would be sh sh dalawang galaw para maging decimal siya, 16.67% or actually 6 kasi na bar yun or repeating number kasi siya. Okay? So, again, all of these things, yan ang pinaka-basic na mga tanong na you could expect. Pero minsan, tumataas yung level ng difficulty. So, sometimes, the question is this. What is the probability of rolling sixes? 
in two dice rolls. So, ibig sabihin ng sixes, dalawang beses na lalabas na six. So, may isa kang die na six ang lalabas, tapos yung pangalawang die mo, six din. Okay? Now, in these cases, kapag nagdagdag tayo ng condition or nagdagdag tayo ng event, and we also talked about this in the lesson about coins, no? Pag nagdagdag ka, ang gagawin mo lang, maglalagay ka ng dalawang blank. This is for your first roll or first die, and then this is for your second die. Kasi dalawang beses ka na nag-roll kasi you have two dice rolls. Now, ang gagawin mo lang would be kung ano yung probability ng unang ng unang event, so yung unang 6 mo would be 1 over 6. Bakit? Kasi isa lang naman ang 6 sa loob ng isang die at anim nga ang possible na sides niya. Tapos, yung pangalawa mong roll, ganun din naman kasi 6 lang din yung hinahanap mo. So that will still be 1 over 6. At kapag dalawa na yung iyong events, multiply mo lang siya. So you have 1 over 6 times 1 over 6. Or kung isosolve mo ito, again, multiplying fractions, isosolve mo lang na Across yan, this across yon, so that would give you 1 over 36. Okay? So 1 over 36 ang likelihood na makapag-roll ka ng dalawang magkasunod na 6. Okay? Kung dalawa ang iyong die. Now again, kung kailangan mo i-convert yan into decimal, ang gagawin mo would be 1 divided by 36. It will give you about 2.8%. Okay? Now, Either of those two can be the correct answer. Actually, pwede nga 2.78%. Kung gusto mo na dalawang decimal places yung nasa options. Okay? So again, pag nag-add ako ng isa pang event, magdadagdag ako ng isa pa dito. Kung tatlo, lalagyan ko pa ng isa. Okay? Now, ito na tayo dun sa mas mataas na antas ng tanong, which is something like this. Sabi niya, what is the probability of getting a sum of 8 when rolling two dice? So, ang sabi, sum of 8, ibig sabihin nun, yung lalabas doon sa dalawang dice ay ipag a -add mo. Okay? Kung ilan yung pips na aangat doon. Okay? Now, paano natin isosolve yung ganitong klaseng problema? Yung ganitong klaseng problema would require you to, to use uh, yung ating uh, older lesson on permutation and combination. Bakit? Kasi iba-iba na yung mga posibleng maging combinations ng mga numbers na lalabas. Kasi dalawa na yung i-roll mo ng sabay. At iba yung lalabas sa dice A, sa dice B. Okay? So, let's solve this together. Again, given na may dalawang dice tayo, okay? Pangalanan natin sila para lang mas malinaw. You have dice A, tapos si dice B. Now, bawat isa sa kanila ay merong mga sides. At yung sides nila ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at 6. Si dice A din, meron din siya noon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. At dahil dalawa silang sabay mong i-roll, yung combination nila, bibilangin mo. Kasi nga, ang gusto natin is desired outcome over the total number of possible outcomes. So, yung desired outcome natin would be, ilang pairs, ang pag in mo sila, magiging 8. Now, sino-sino yung mga yon Now, kung meron akong... Uh, 1, dun sa A ko na die, kung 1 siya, wala namang number dito na pwede niyang kapares na magiging 8 yung sum. Kasi yung 6 at 1, which is the highest na makukuha mo dito, is only 7. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang first pair natin would be 2 and 6. Okay? Si dice A, 2. Si dice B, 6. Yan ay 1. So, mayroon na tayong isang occurrence. Now, kung 3 naman, okay, si dice A, at lumabas na 5 si dice B, 8 din to kasi 3 plus 5 is 8. So, may pangalawa na tayong sitwasyon. Kung 4 si A at 4 si B, that would be the third situation. So, tatlo na sila. Kung 5 si A at 3 si B, that would be your fourth. And then, kung 6 si A at 2 si B, that would be your fifth. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, limang possible combinations yung pwedeng lumabas. It's either 2, 6, 3, 5, 4, 4, 5, 3, and 6, 2. Lima yung pumasa sa ating standard. So, lima yung ilalagay natin sa taas. Over, and then, ito na yung tricky part. Kasi yung hinahanap natin is the total number of possible outcomes. If you know your permutation, madali na ito. If, you, if you've already forgot about that or ninyo pa napapanood yung video series ko, kompleto na yung permutation and combination, just click right here dun sa i button to catch up. Pero ang ginagawa natin dun is basically ilalatag natin yung upuan kung ilang beses kang 
um, ilan yung mga bagay na paghahaluin mo or pag i-combine mo, ilang ilang mga posibilidad yon Sa case na to dalawa ang dice. So, may dalawa kang upuan. Tapos, alagay natin yung mga uh, possibilities sa bawat isa sa kanila. So, again, 6 to, 6 to. Tapos, imumultiply lang natin sila. Bakit? Kasi, ibig sabihin nun, merong 36 na possible na combination na pares etong mga numbers na ito. So, ilalagay natin sa ilalim yung 36. Tapos, ang galing yung 36 na yon. Para lang, meron kayong idea, yun yung ganito. So, 1 and 1, 2 and 1, 3 and 1, yan, all of those. Kaya lang, hindi na natin sinulat kasi magulo pa siya at saka mabagal siya. So, yun yung ginagawa when we talk about combination and permutation. Ang difference would be kung merong pwedeng maulit, merong pwedeng hindi. And all of those, again, panoorin nyo na lang dun sa separate series natin dito. Okay? So, ang ating sagot would be 5 over 36. Bakit? Kasi 5 yung pares na nag-work out and then over 36 yung total na posibleng maging uh, mga uh, kalalabasan pa ng roll ako ng dalawang dice. Okay? So, pag ganitong klaseng tanong, hindi na lang kayo kailangan magbilang. Kailangan na rin na pumasok yung kaalaman ninyo sa combination permutation. Kaya it's a little bit more complicated. Okay? Now, now that you know all of those, the best way for you to know if tama yung inyong sagot is to answer yung ating quick quiz. I have a number of questions right here. I'll give you time to answer them. And then after that, I'm going to discuss kung ano yung mga tama sagot. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, ito yung ating mga tanong. Increasing yung difficulty. Pero okay lang yan. Kayang-kaya nyo yan kasi pattern din naman siya dun sa ating setup kanina. Now, ang gagawin lang natin is this. Sabi, what is the probability of getting an even number in one roll of a die? So, ito yung ating first question. Ilan ba yung 
uh, hagis na gagawin natin, isa lang. So, that would be isang over lang. Tapos, ang hinahanap niya is yung even number. Now, dito na papasok yung ilan ba ang even number doon. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 na pwedeng lumabas sa isang die. Ang even numbers niya ay 2, 4, at 6. So, tatlo yung pwedeng pumasok sa ating standard. So, 3 yung number sa taas. At yung total naman na pwedeng kalabasan ay 6. So, ilalagay natin yung 6 sa ilalim. So, that would be 3 over 6 or 1 half or 50%. Okay? So, yun yung sagot. Very simple. Kung ilan yung odd, ganun din. Okay? Now, next we have yung what is the probability of getting 3 fours in 3 dice rolls. So, again, tatlong beses mo i-roll yung die mo. So, now you have tatlong fractions dapat. So, bawat 4, ay silang naman ang 4 sa bawat 6 sides ng die. Pare-pareho silang 6-sided die. So, that would be 1 over 6 sila lahat. Imumultiply lang natin yan. So, you have 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 times 1 over 6. Again, 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. Tapos sa ilalim, imumultiply lang natin yung 6 sa sarili niya. Tatlong beses yan. So, 6 times 6 is 36. Tapos ita times 6 natin uli, which will give us 216. So, the answer is 1 over 216. Or kung gusto natin i-decimal, i-divide lang natin yung 1 sa 216. That would give us 0. 46%. Okay? So, again, napakababa na nung probability. Ito yung sinasabi natin, di ba, pag naglalaro rin tayo ng die, di ba, pag, pag nagtutuloy-tuloy na puro 6 yung lamalabas sa kalaban natin, sabi natin sobrang swerte ba naman. Ang idea nun is that the more that you do it, the less likely it is na lalabas yung lagi mong gustong maging resulta. Okay? Kasi, ganun talaga, di ba? Kahit naman sa practical na buhay, hindi lagi na, lagi tayo nananalo. Okay? So, pag lagi tayong nananalo, parang ang ano na no, napaka-rare na occurrence na yon na yon so ganun din dito pababa ng pababa yung probability kapag nagdadagdag ka ng events or ng condition number 3 what is the probability of getting a sum of 5 when you roll two dice so again we have two dice okay para malaman natin yung mag-fit sa standard pwede nating ilagay yung numbers 2 3 4 5 6 and actually the more you do it pwede niyo nang pwede nang umabot sa point na hindi niyo na kailangan isulat to lahat Okay? But when you're starting out, this could help. So, you have here, 1 and 4. That is 1. Tapos, pwedeng 2 and 3. Okay? That is another 1. Pwedeng 3 and 2. Okay? That is another 1. And then, we have itong 4 and 1, which gives us another 1. Hindi na pwedeng 5 and 1, kasi, ano, uh, dalawa yung dapat na i-roll mo. So, hindi na pwedeng... Ganun kasi lalampas yung magiging 6 na yan. So, ibig sabihin, apat na occurrences yung pasok sa standards natin. So, we have 1 and 4, 2 and 3, 3 and 2 and 4 and 1. So, ang fraction natin would be 4 over, and again, kung ilan yung posible na maging uh, kombinasyon nila. So, that would be 6 times 6 kasi dalawang dice pa rin ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, that would be 4 over 36. Na ito, pwede pa natin in lowest terms. Pareho naman silang divisible sa 4. So, i-divide ko lang siya sa 4. Pareho. Which will give me 1 over 9. So, the answer is 1 over 9. Okay? 1 over 9 or kung i-divide natin yan, that would give us 11.11%. .11%. Okay? So, all of these, again... Iisa-isahin mo lang yung mga, mga sitwasyon, mga kondisyon, mga events. Aalamin mo kung ilan yung total na pwedeng kalabasan na scenario. And then, isasolve nyo lang sila. I-divide or i-fraction form mo lang sila. Okay? Now, I hope you got all of those correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be adding more drills sa aking quick questions on Instagram. So, if you don't follow me yet, follow me at Like Amaravilla for more of those. Uh, sagutan ninyo yung mga yun para malaman natin if you're improving. It's a great way for me to know how you're doing. And I hope pag nagpost ako ng question on probability, isa ang mga usernames ninyo sa makikita kong tama. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends na nung mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong tutulungan. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. Marami pa tayong mga lessons na paparating and uh, sana hindi nyo ma-miss para magamit nyo sa inyong susunod na exam. Again, if you want to reach out to me directly for the reviewers or how to join you at ating online and live review events na paparating, don't forget to uh, visit my Facebook page www.facebook.com slash for more information. I would love to hear back from you 
there. Thanks, guys. And as we always say sa team na to, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kain yan. I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.